Hi, this is the Culture Encounter. We're here at the Horseradish in downtown Carleton looking at the Nest Project. This is the first sort of introductory showing for the Nest Project. Over a period of time, I've been uh, picking up uh, sort of lost nests, nests that have fallen out of trees. And uh, it gave me an idea about the fact that uh, the whole world is kind of connected and interlatticed. And so with that idea, I sort of sprung board the idea of the Nest Project. And the Nest Project is to get artists in the region collaborating on individual and group pieces in regards to the concept and the word nest, but not just tied to birds. A show with a theme kind of helps a, an artist have direction because we're kind of like, uh, or most artists that I know are, are just sort of out here uh, floating in the breeze and it's really kind of nice if we can be given direction. And so a, a show with a theme is, is great that way. project invigorate you or give you an idea? How did you go from just the idea to your piece? The inspiration came from Jan. I mean, visiting him and being uh, close friends with him and him, him telling us about his inspiration and being at his home. I was thinking of it as universally um, how everything is connected and, you know, as opposed to just a single entity. I mean, each one can have their own nest, however. What, what is in the bigger hole, and that's why I came up with connection points. In that, you know, there's, you know, one little strand of, you know, probably DNA that kind of separates each and every person or being in this planet, and you know, beyond. So, uh, and you know, using the concept of, of or using encaustic, which is beeswax, and creating the honeycomb structures. You know, that in itself even applies a connection because you've got all those little structures connected and kind of going from there. It's, a, it's kind of evolving and it's still growing and it's just, it's just one of those fun concepts I was like, oh, this is really something that I can get you know, my hands, my head, and anything into. This is actually just the first piece and I've got more that I'm creating. Uh, my original design for this piece actually was going to be more three-dimensional. My first go at it uh, didn't quite lend to that, so my next piece I definitely have more plans of um, having it more three-dimensional coming out and having more depth into it. So there's more to come, definitely. My name is Amy Brody, and uh, I found out about the Nest Project. I had a show at the Walters Cultural Center up in Hillsboro, and Jan and Jewel came and invited me to join the project, so I was thrilled. <laughs> and you do, you do pencil work? I do do pencil drawings. I also do some other kinds of pieces, but I chose to do pencil work for this show. I, um, I love to draw realistic things, so I found a nest, and that's how I started drawing them. However, I'm also quite pregnant, so uh, I felt that that was <laughs> part of part of what I wanted to, to say about nests, um, to, to make it personal to, to who I am. So I like to do that with, with realistic objects when I draw them to make them also my story. So. <laughs> The idea to me was that, that the, a nest is, a, is where we came from and uh, you know everybody is kind of born in a nest and, and to me the nest, uh, the earth represents that nest and, and so my idea was to, uh, to carve a nest in the rock. The rock represents the earth and then the, the, uh, the spiral coming out of the nest is sort of humanity and creativity uh, has spiraled out of this nest in the earth and, uh, and both of my pieces uh, sort of hopefully project that and that's what they represent. I'm Susan Day and this is one of my nest projects. It's uh, a condominium, nest condominium and it's very unlike my usual medium of painting. Um, Three-dimensional stuff is, is my child's play and so this was very much of uh, going out to the shed 
and bringing in some of my favorite things that I collected over the years that were rust and metal and the boxes and feathers and just sitting on the floor and playing. It was really, I, I had a nest of junk around me as I worked on my nest project. So this one was just an explosion of creativity, really. It wasn't a planned thing, you know. It isn't like I, I planned. I brought things in. I looked at them. I put them around in different places. I came up with the towers, and then it was okay. Then what's next? And like the three funnels I had, this one's on a spring. Uh, you know, how do I hold the screen together? I got safety pins. So the rope was, was falling apart, kind of, and I sewed it with fishing line. It's on a bed spring. Uh, this, I always like this. But you know, I, what would I ever use this for? And it, this was perfect. Uh, the, the wings are hands, all wings. And um, what can I say? It was just a lot of play. This was all about play. And do, do you, you normally are a painter, so this, the whole idea, was that, did that come from the theme? Of the show? Yeah, the word nest. I mean, when I heard the call to artist, it, the focus was nest. It was like an explosion of creative energy that just went off. And the first piece was the other one that I did with the driftwood and wire, and then this took much longer uh, assembling it. But and then the next piece is, uh, the, you know, from pieces that's set in the corner, it wants to be made, but it's a time element. But it also, I mean, it catapulted this need that I have to play, to use my hands, to be tactile, to do something really fun uh, and play. And I have this picnic basket at home now that you open the top and it has 12 little loops. And um, I'm going to put things that represent myself in the loops. And then... Um, things about myself. The basket, it's going to be called basket case and it's going to be something uh, I don't know. I mean I can't predict what it's going to end up. I just know it's going to evolve as this piece did. Hi, my name is Lynn Taylor and I have a painting in the nest show which I'm very proud of. It's a painting of pearls nesting amongst the rocks. Oh, what kind of medium is it? This is mixed water media. It's a combination of uh, watercolor pencil, uh, acrylic, and watercolor. The, the inspiration for the painting is actually a movement for uh, unity between cultures. If you look closely at each of the rocks, they are um, have symbols on them. They're not necessarily anything in particular, but they're a bunch of symbols that represent a huge variety of cultures on our planet of humans. And interspersed nesting between all these cultures are these little shiny pearls that sort of give the idea of pearls of wisdom. That no matter what culture you have come from, what your history is, or how ancient or how recent uh, your culture is, all cultures have pearls of wisdom.